Hey guys, welcome back to Five Stone Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Arc, the League of Legends First Edition Character Pack. And may I just say, I don't know anything about League of Legends, I only know stuff from Arcane, which all these characters are also in. So, please forgive me all you League of Legends fans out there. And yeah, before we get into this, I just want to first let you tell you guys to make sure you hit the like button, comment down below. And subscribe and all that stuff because it really helps out the channel a lot. And yeah, let's go on to the video. In the packet, we have um, we can see all the characters in the thing that we have Echo, Calamity, I believe it's how you say, Vi, Jinx, also known as Powder in Arcane when she was younger, and Hamadin. I don't know how to say his name. I bet the Arcane fans are gonna slaughter me in the comments. So yeah, now let's get into opening this thing. Oh, there's something else here. Oh, there's a poster, I think? Yeah, it comes with a poster with all the characters on it. And a little checklist of all the characters that you, we can go collect at the shops. We have... I'm assuming we can get all these guys on their own. Good. A bulk of them weren't even in this thing. And there are two Jinxes. <laughs> and I'm assuming these are the bigger figures. Alright, let's get on to the stuff in the packaging. Alright, here we go. Oh, and the, the weapons are falling out straight away. Alright. So we have a sniper rifle and a sword, but let's get these characters out of the pack before we look at everything first. I have the scissors. So let's start the snipping of the things here, and I'll try not to cut Powder's minigun. Haha, -ha, got it. We have a shark rocket launcher. Does that move my mouth? No, it does not, but it's wrapped up in all the stuff. These are gonna be tricky to get out of the packaging. Oh, no, that's, no, that's not part of your body. I thought I bought how close it was to your body. Aha, got it out. Let's take a look at the scientist man here first. <sighs> got him out. And yeah, his sculpting's really good. Oh, his accessories are still in the packaging. <laughs> Let me get them out. We have. The engineer's wrench from... <laughs> he can hold it. His posability is quite decent for his size. Of course, there's no elbow or knee articulation. But we have a rotating head, rotating arms that can go out and forward. Waist rotation, this is surprising for a figure this small. And he can somewhat sit. <laughs> And he also comes with a turret, which I think Torbjorn and the engineer are gonna try to copyright him for. If you guys know any other, if you guys play anything online, you probably know what I was talking about that from. Here we have the turret. Pew, pew, pew. I'm assuming he just takes this thing and goes, fix, fix, fix. He also has this weird tuning device. Which I have to fight to get out the packaging. <laughs> yeah, we have this weird tuning device which you can also hold. But I'll put, put him over to the side there and let's get Jinx out. Is uh, that the only wire holding you, Jinx? Is that some on your foot? Yes, it is. <laughs> Alright. I believe that's, no, yeah, that's Jinx out. Now let's just pull her out. And here we have Jinx. Otherwise known in some, to some people as knockoff Harley Quinn. Boom. So yeah, she is really cool looking in all that in her design. Her posability is like the standard mini tiny figure thing with rotation at the head. Standard arms and all that. 
rotates my legs, can kick out and kick back that far, bend up the knees, and no waist rotation. And she comes with her two weapons from the game, her ro shark rocket launcher and her pow pow minigun. I, I believe that's what the scientific term for it is called. I'm pretty sure you just put this, I'm pretty sure you just go like this for a minigun, you put her, it over her arm and head like that. And yeah, she's ready to go and murder some people with it. And for a rock launcher, you just put it into her arm. Let's go capture the point with this thing. Alright, now let's get her sister Vi out of here. And yes, if you haven't watched Arcane or don't know League of Legends lore, Vi and Powder are our sisters. I'm just gonna have to take this over here just to get her out. Ah, that's the problem. Sorry guys, I was just struggling to get her out. Okay, let's pop her out. And here is Vi with her giant mecha fist, which I think might make Doomfist jealous. If I only had a Doomfist figure, I could compare her to and have them have a punch off. So, yeah. They all come with stands, but the stands are kind of hard and stuck to get hard to get out, so I won't show them off straight away. Yeah, she has her giant fist things, which look really cool. And I feel like it would be very hard to lift. So how does she move around with these things? Same, same articulation as her sister. And here's a quick comparison to her with her. Okay, the eye powder dropped a minigun. Now let's hope they don't try to kill each other. Too late. Alright. Echo's fallen out, so I might as well get him out. Finish getting him out. So, so I don't need to worry about him falling out through... The review. I'm just need to cut some things out of my way. From what I know about Echo from watching Arcane, he's basically a friend of Vi and Powder back when they were kids and all that stuff. But something happened, and yeah, ended up kind of this. He has this cool green thing on his back, which I don't know if it's removable. And he's the one who owns this sword, this cool ass looking sword. Let's see if he can hold. It's tricky to give him to him. Everyone's had to deal with this with them in figures. I can't get him to hold it. Alright. He has decent articulation. Arms are the same as everyone else's. His legs are very bulky. Let's see if he can stand up without his base. And yes, he can! <laughs> I never tried with this dude. Let's see if he can stand up without his base. Yep, he can! <laughs> so far, only Vi and Powder have failed with the stand without base category. Alright, now let's get Vi's possible girlfriend in Arcane out. Or as she calls her in the series, I've seen Cupcake. And here she is, Camity, I believe that's her name. He's really well made and all that, with the articulation being very good, especially with the skirt here that she has on. She gives me old, old style century police officer vibes, which I'm pretty sure that's what she's, because in Arkane she is a police officer. She has her, she comes with a sniper rifle, which, I feel like might make the TF2 sniper and Widowmaker and Anna jealous with how, how many scopes it has. Can she stand up on her own? Oh, I know. Yes, she can! Now let's get one of the bases out just so we can have see everyone else. And here's one of the bases. It says L for like a league. I'm not gonna grab all the others out because they're just the same. Let's put her on it, see how well they look on it. Yeah, and this is the characters on the base. And yeah, all these figures are really good and all that. And I definitely butchered the names very well. 
if you guys want to go get this thing, it's like $30 down at your local Toy Mates, if you see it there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say, Toy Mates is a great shop to go buy if someone figures that. Not sponsored. I see some quite rare figures there as well. So yeah, go check Toy Mates out if you want to get new figures. And yeah, this has been my review of my of the League of Legends characters, first edition pack, and slash arcane characters. Yeah, don't forget to hit the bell and like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.